Welcome to another edition in uh, my film reviews. Uh, just like we talk about sleeper hits, we also have sleeper good films. Do or Do Pyaar, starring Vitya Palan, is one such movie. Directed by Sirisha Guha Tapukta, her debut film. As a director, she's assisted films like Company, etc. But uh, this is an amazing debut. Welcome to the team of good women directors in Hindi cinema. Uh, Zoya Akhtar, you have some competition. Meghna Guzar, you have some competition in this film. Very, very well made, sensitive, light hearted film. It deals with matrimony. Marriage is a great institution, but who wants to enjoy institutions? Marx work. So she deals with a very, very simple linear story where Kamala Ganeshan, a Tamil girl, is married to Ani, a Pratik Gandhi. Both of them are living in Mumbai. He is a he owns a business selling. Cox, C-O-R-K-S, is trying to work out a Japanese deal and uh, this is a business he's inherited from his family. Tommy, on the other hand, is a dentist living out of her father's dream who wanted her to be a doctor who cribs about the place. The protagonist, Tavia and Ani, are both going through a second seven year age. They've had they've been together for 14 years, two years of courtship and 12 of marriage. And in the 14th year, both of them are not only at not only is matrimony at the it, at its wit's end, but both of them are on the slide seeing something else. While Kavya is seeing Vikram, played by Sendir Ramdas, we have uh, I mean, seeing Nora, played by Indiana de Cruz. While Indiana de Cruz is an upcoming actress, she's uh, hoping to make her debut, uh, Vikram is a still photographer who's traveled across the world. He's talking about Cuba, he's talking about New York. He admits that he's footloose and has never been serious in a relation for until he's met. Kavya, who he very romantically calls Caps. This relationship between the husband and wife is at its peak. However, just at multiple times when both of them are about to break it to each other, they just don't have the very quickly things come to a pass. Suddenly, there's a death in the family. The Ganeshans lose their senior patriarch. So, Gavya decides to travel to Uti, to her maternal family, a place she's going for the first time since she looked 12 years ago to marry the Bengali Babu. For some strange reason, is he running away from Nora? And he also decides to go with Gavya. And they start reading it themselves. They embrace themselves. They begin to reinvent the need for sex. They suddenly realize they've not discussed anything other than garbage bags and AC remote temperature for the last few years. They've not had a fight. This is how maintain that life, that relationship had become. How they come back together, or do they come back? What happens? Are they going to leave Nora and uh, Vikram high and dry? This is what the film is. It's non preachy. I think the performances from Pratik Gandhi as Ani is amazing. I love this, those old generation spectacles that he wears, refuses to change. A man who had dreams or ambition who gave it all up because he had a family. The film has a metaphysical layer 
and it's very, very sensitive. Then there is Vikra, played by Sethil Ramos, who's this American return still photographer. He gets to really want to settle down in life and find Kavya as the ideal girl. Till she has settled. Ileana de Cruz is the old factor to the story, and she carries us a place. The relationship between Kav Kavita and her father, played by Talaivasan Vijay, is amazing. As Venkata Ganeshan, that is an standout performance. There's a very interesting scene in the movie. The girl and her husband come to to their metal, to her metal house after 12 years. And the first question the father asked the daughter, what they natural? Meaning, why are you not wearing your bindi? The next scene you see Vitya Singh of bindi and she looks a million dollars. It ignites that face with their father. looks brilliant. Why she does not wear it more often? Volumes. This character to her when she wears it. She's underplaying herself constantly by not putting it on. It's my personal feeling. Yes, there are times when she looks matronly, but we will let that pass because of her superiority as an actor. What an she is. She's arguably the best we have to be. She's in about the right. She is deservingly to be ranked among the all-time greats of Hindi cinema. She's doing woman-centric movies. I would say, do or do punch. There's a standout movie in her career. Go for it. I would unhesitatingly tell everybody I can to go and watch this movie. I go to the theatre, we are 12 of us in the theatre, and we are the ones who crib about having to see cross cinema. When there is good cinema, we cold shoulder. Then we go and see Animal, we go and see Arjun Reddy, and then say we don't get to see good cinema. Let's blame ourselves, let's swallow this responsibility. Nice that Maidans and Bade Mia Chote Mia are not doing very well, but those crowds are still huge when you compare it with the crowds that often look like Do and Do. Yeah. My viewers, whatever little number that you are, please, I request all of you, go and see the world to Pia. You come back to me with your comments. A stand out from Vidya Bhan. Brilliant, breezy, full of Basu Bhattacharya, Bheem Sen have dealt with this subject. Also serious. Here she is doing it breezy. She's not taking to the pulpit. And each one of the new characters are so natural. Every, it could happen to anybody, in any months. The relationship between the father and the daughter is very Indian. The relationship between the family and the girl. The girl and her husband, the husband and his girlfriend, the girlfriend and him. The wife and the boyfriend. Everything falls in the perfect place. For all its inadequacies, for all the marks. This is what life is. Watch. Well, as I sign off with acknowledgments to Abhinav and Tatum. Goodbye.